being earth friendly doesn't end with just taking out your recyclables every week. In fact, a group of young adults with the Oneida Nation Arts Program is proving that we can all be a little bit more earth friendly with our wardrobes as well. Yeah. We are joined this morning uh, by a, a group of young adults from the um, Oneida Nation Arts Program, and Gabrielle Metoxin is going to tell us a little bit more about um, what you guys have been working on. Why don't you tell us about these workshops you've been hosting? Uh, we've had workshops that involve um, taking the clothes that you already have, our clothes that you can buy from resale shops, Goodwill, our rummage sales, and working with that in upcycling, which is just taking what you already have and t changing it to something different or new, um, making it more fashionable, up-to-date kind of thing. What was the inspiration for this? Why, why, why have a, a start workshops where we learn how to recycle our clothing? Well, it started with um, five of us, um, just a couple young adults. We started a young adults creative club, and we thought, we brainstormed we wanted to do a fashion show and with that we wanted to do something that was healthy for the environment kind of going green kind of thing like that so we combined the two and said let's go with the uh, fashion design right cycling and uh, we have some models here uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know others who have, who have um, been a part of this program and uh, let's start with you on the end here why don't you tell us um, how her outfit has been recycled okay she has a skirt that's made out of a t-shirt and then on the corner, there's a sponge detail. Um, her backpack is actually plastic bags fused together by just ironing them. And then duct tape is how we uh, assembled it. I would never guess that skirt is a t-shirt. Yep. Very cute. <laughs> we'll have you walk down next. And we have Josh. He's wearing a vest made out of ties. And his shorts are the capris are made out of a sheet. Wow. So out of a sheet? Do yep. you mind if I feel these for a second? <laughs> They look comfortable, are they? Mm -hmm. Very comfortable. Wow. <laughs> okay, have you go. Then we have Skylar, and she's wearing a tank top. Um, it used to be a t-shirt, and then it's detailed with uh, beaded raised beadwork, and then the fashion design logo that we have for the fashion show. Looks beautiful. Now, how much work went into making these things? I mean, can the average person do this? Yeah, definitely. Um, some of them are a little bit easier. Um, the vest, I'm sure, took a lot more time just with the detail of each tie being sewn in together. Okay, so tell us about the fashion show you're hosting tonight. It's free. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us about it and what people will experience. Um, it's tonight at the Radisson Hotel um, in Wolf Room at 5 o'clock. Doors open at 4.30. And there's a fashion show competition. But before that, we also have apprentices that were hired on. They'll be showing their T-shirt designs that they made. Um, they did all kinds of stuff like batik, which is like working with wax. They did tie-dye. They did, you know, just fashion pens, stuff like that. Um, and then the competition itself. And then afterwards, at 6 o'clock, there's food as well. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys look great, and, and thank you for sharing um, your work with us. Yeah, definitely. Really, a, a, a great idea. Thank you. We have